Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer is at a crossroads. She can sell her company now for whatever money she can get or roll the dice on a revival strategy. Finding a buyer may be Meyer's best chance to salvage her legacy. Yahoo's stock price alone might suggest that Meyer has been a success. The shares traded at less than $16 when she took over in 2012, then reached a high of $52 in 2014, before settling at about $37 in April. But that bump isn't due to Meyer. It stems from smart investments Yahoo made in two popular Asian web companies long before she was hired. The reality is that Yahoo under Meyer has become unprofitable, and its outlook is only getting worse. Its financial troubles have sparked fierce debates about how much the company is worth. Yahoo is made up of three parts. It's two Asian investments in Alibaba and Yahoo Japan, and Yahoo's main web business. Depending on some tricky value assumptions, the Asian investments may be worth more than the company as a whole. What that means is investors could be valuing Yahoo's web business at less than zero. Unlocking any further value may mean selling the company or breaking it up. And time is of the essence. Right now, Yahoo is still the third most popular web property in the US. But its online audience, and especially its mobile audience, is not growing after four years of Meyer's various fix-it plans. We'll be doubling down on areas and markets of greatest strength. In short, nothing that Meyer has done has worked. For a dose of courage, Meyer can take a lesson from her former colleague, Tim Armstrong. He was struggling as AOL CEO. Then he got an offer to sell the company for a 23% markup. The sale made Armstrong look like a genius. Now Armstrong is helping lead Verizon's bid for Yahoo. If Meyer sells now, she can hop aboard the same life raft that saved Armstrong.